There's a wideness in God's mercy, like the wideness of the sea. There's a kindness in God's justice, which is more than liberty. There is plentiful redemption in the blood that has been shed. There is joy for all the members in the sorrows of the head. For the love of God is broader than the measures of the mind. And the heart of the eternal is most wonderfully kind. If our love were but more faithful, we should rest upon God's word. And our lives would be thanksgiving for the good news of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here today on this Friday of the fifth week of Ordinary Time. We continue to celebrate the wideness of God's mercy, which draws us together and heals our wounded souls. As we gather here today in joy, knowing that we have been healed through the blood of Christ, we seek forgiveness for the times when we have not repented, and for the times in our own stubbornness, we refuse to seek forgiveness. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Jehoabam left Jerusalem, and the prophet Elijah the, the Sinaite met him on the road. The two were alone in the area, and the prophet was wearing a new cloak. Eli took off a new cloak, tore it into twelve pieces, and said to Jehoabam, Take ten pieces for yourself. The Lord, the God of Israel, says, I will tear it away from the kingdom from Solomon's grasp, and I will give you ten of the tribes. One tribe shall remain to him for the sake of David my servant and of Jerusalem, the city I have chosen out of all of the tribes of Israel. Israel went into rebellion against David's house to this day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship in any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. My people heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I gave them up to the hardness of their hearts, they walked accordance to their own counsels. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways. Quickly would I humble their enemies, against their foes I would turn my hand. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. Alleluia, Alleluia. Listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. 
Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by the way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. Then he took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, to him Ephatha, that is, be open. And immediately the man's ear were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished as they said, he has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Here once again, we see the compassion and the love that Jesus has, especially for those who are suffering. For this man who was blind, and he suffered from a peach, a speech impediment. And the Lord in his mercy had healed him. Again, what's interesting about the scriptures today is first of all that Jesus took him off by himself. And again, Jesus did not want to be known as the miracle worker. He wanted to be known for his love. He did not want people to believe in him because they could get something from him, but instead wanted them to have faith, to have faith in God. And so he sort of did his miracles quietly, and yet they wanted to make them public. But what I love about this gospel reading is when Jesus groans. You can almost hear the groan in the words that we're using, Apatha, which simply means be open. Now here's a maybe interesting fact. In our baptismal rite, we have a part of it called the Apatha, the be opening. Now it's optional, so sadly many priests and deacons choose not to do this. But that's when the minister blesses the child's ears and he says to be open. May your ears be open to receive the word of God. In other words, that you may be blessed enough that your ears will hear God's words, for those are the words of everlasting life. And then he blesses the mouth and again, ask the Lord to open the mouth. And why do we ask the Lord to open the child's mouth? So that it can proclaim God's praise forever. See, that's the purpose of our senses, aren't they? They're really to help us come closer to God, our ears to hear God's words, our mouth to proclaim his praise. And yet how many times do we fill our ears with vile filth? Perhaps dirty jokes, perhaps listening to gossip, perhaps listening to things that are inappropriate in any way. And then the same with our mouths, when we use to curse one another, when we use God's name in vain, instead of using these precious mouths of ours to proclaim God's praise, to proclaim his word, to offer thanksgiving, we use it for so many vile things. And then the Lord simply says to us, Epitha, groaning almost, be open. May we have the courage to use our ears to hear God's word, to hear him gently calling our name. And may we use our mouths for one particular purpose, to give honor, to give glory, to give praise to God. Grateful for the many ways God grants miracles to us every day, we bring our prayers to the Lord confident in his love. For the church, may the Holy Spirit always inspire her bold proclamation of God's mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may the Lord guide their actions to promote peace and unity among all people, especially for peace in the Middle East, 
Ukraine, those other parts of the world that are torn by violence, for the release of the hostages, for the protection of all those lives in harm's way, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation, that we may be a people who are dedicated to human life. We pray for those most vulnerable, for the unborn, for the immigrant, for the refugee, for the poor. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened by loneliness or despair, may the healing touch of Jesus bring them consolation and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, may Jesus be our guide and our strength as we work to build his kingdom on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, for their healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our beloved dead. May they soon sing with the choirs of angels in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all your needs, all your intentions that we bring to our Heavenly Father. In the very silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us join our voices into one, raising our prayers, praying as our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Loving God, we bring to you our needs and concerns. Graciously hear us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn and ask for the intercession of St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wicked snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl around the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us also now call upon our Blessed Mother, and during this time of trial and trouble, ask for her maternal protection and intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go. Announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Troubled souls, why will you scatter like a crowd of frightened sheep? Foolish hearts, why will you wander from a love so true and deep? There is welcome for the sinner, and more grace is for the good. There is mercy with the Savior, there is healing in his blood. 